teachers of Reddit, when did you realize a kid was gifted? I teach special ed, and people talk about savantism when it comes to Asperger's and autism but the truth is that only really happens once in a blue moon. Well I was lucky enough to teach a kid who was the genuine article. His grades were tops, and he taught himself programming in Japanese so he could go to Japan one day and make video games. We would spend his free time talking about astrophysics in recent documentaries. Every now and then he would ask me about something he had just absorbed and want to explain to me. In detail, I just tried to keep up and ask him questions that kept him thinking about what is new information. Men in context and what in the big picture of the universe or life or gaming are social. Interaction. Unfortunately the kid had no ability to emotionally regulate. Because that's just how the condition hit some people. Loud noise and unclear rules could send him into a hell of rage. There's one classroom he could go into because he could hear the electric hum in the lights and he bothered him to violence. I mostly just taught him coping mechanisms and being honest about his feelings so he could tell when he needed to leave a situation. Oh, and I taught him poker. He liked the math behind the probability and I used exaggerated bluffing to teach him facial expressions. Great kid. I am excited to learn what he goes on to do. I knew when he surprised me by reassembling an engine out of a car all by himself in a single 90 minute class period. It was right before school let out for COVID. I had to hurry up and get some projects thrown back together quickly since school was closing. He asked to do it so I let him try and went off to do other things. By the end of the class it was completely assembled. Never asked me for help and it was working. Definitely gifted. This kid was always bright but never really inspired by much of what he did. Seemed a little lazy but wasn't troublesome. He was just kind of a neutral kid in the class. Though we did one day of Lewis structures and he thought it was too easy. Gave him a harder worksheet which he finished in like 3 seconds. So I gave him an organic formula that had 12 different isomers and some resonance structures. He came up with all of them in less than 15 minutes including ones that had to do with how the object would look in 3D even though we never covered it. Kid is currently working on his PhD at Yale in organic chemistry. Biology teacher here. Had a new student come in at age 15. He didn't talk much but he did all his work as asked and did it well. One day we were having a class discussion about something and he joined in. It ended up being a back and forth between just the two of us and at some point I realized I was discussing pretty high level stuff with a 15 year old. He's a neurosurgeon now. After less than one year of music lessons. It was clear the student would likely become a concert pianist when he learned 15 of box. Two part inventions from memory and played them brilliantly. Not a teacher, but a student with a gifted kid in his class. In third grade we had a new student come in who had just moved to the country with his family. Our teacher saw he was smart. She she challenged him with some math we were meant to learn in a couple weeks. He solved the problems no problem. Next she tried some 4th grade level math. Again he solved it with no problems. After that she called in one of the 5th grade teacher and she gave him some problems meant for 5th graders. As expected he solved those without any problems. They kept going until he got a question partially right. I believe by that point they were giving him stuff intended for early, mid-year 6th grade students. Last I heard this kid got a degree in mathematics from Carnegie Mellon University. I'm a preschool teacher and I knew a three-year-old girl that had very extensive vocabulary and could already read really well. Once during lunchtime, a little boy scarfed down his food and her response was, Well, he must have been famished. I was blown away. She also taught me about the digestive system once during lunchtime and it was accurate information. But her favorite subject was the solar system. She was full of facts about the solar system, and she would teach me new things all the time. I always told her mom that she wasn't ready for kindergarten. She's ready for college. 
An interesting test for toddlers is to see if they can hold an extended back and forth conversation with adults. Most kids at this age, and most grown ass adults, are just asking for something or telling you something. I was teaching distance over time graphs. The students stated that if the line just went straight up, that it would indicate teleportation. Because distance has been gained but no time has passed. This was fifth grade science. Edit. This kid ended up skipping sixth and seventh grade. Fifth to eighth. He was a super humble kid. I miss having him in my class. Took a summer job helping at a daycare. One of the toddlers, about 18 months old, was way ahead of the rest. Could talk full sentences. Knew his ABCs. Could count beyond 20. Already had shapes and colors down. I've seen kindergarten-aged kids that haven't mastered some of these things. He's in his early 20s now with a master's in engineering and a six-figure salary. 11-year-old girl, year 7, in my maths class. She started asking questions that would have stumped the brightest in my top set year 11. It was a delight to have her in my class and I'm so jealous of the teacher who gets to teach her. This year, ain't a teacher and it's my little brother but I thought he'll share it. When I was around 14 and he was around 6 years old I would watch lots of YouTube videos in English. Ain't our native language. And he would just sit on the bed behind me and watch for hours. I thought he was just bored and didn't understand anything from what was being said. FFW a year we were on a long car ride and he picked up a history book in English. After a couple hours he tells us he is done reading it. Dad laughs and says oh sure. I ask him to read a sentence and translate it he proceeds to absolutely nail it and shock us. When she never got a single question wrong on any of my assignments and ended each marking period. With an average higher than 100 due to extra credit assignments. I came into the room. He was playing a few strings on the guitar. I asked what it was and he soft pedaled it. I pushed a bit further and he started playing what he'd written. I was blown away. Of course it needed a bit of fine tuning. A guitar solo in the middle and a few ulelas here and there but he'd written a legitimate rock song. Blew his parents away when we played it in concert. I used to put a math joke puzzle in the corner of the whiteboard. Essentially three golden triangle numbers arranged in a triangle. And a puzzle which gave the letter I as a result in the middle. In short, it was an Illuminati joke. I had this up for quite a few classes. With nobody being able to guess what on earth it was. Until the last class of the day, a student who suffered from particularly invasive autism just came in, took maybe three seconds at most, and then laughed saying, why have you drawn the Illuminati symbol on the board? It wasn't so much that it was impossible. I was just blown away by how quickly he managed to do it. One child, he was more ahead of his peers in every aspect. It seemed like he was babysitting the rest of his classmates. After a week of teaching the class simple coding, he built a fully functional multiplayer game with material he taught himself. This was at age 8. Another child consistently produced excellent work, finished early and could discuss his viewpoints in depth and actually made me change my viewpoint. He was brilliant in maths. Once I was explaining a new concept to the class and worked out one example together, I told them that I would guide them in the second example so that I can help whoever needs an eye. Here are really genuine and cute oops. I just finished them all now. I guess I saw it right from the start. She started walking ridiculously early like six or seven months. Started talking not long after that. Declared around a year and a bit. I don't like diapers. I'm not going to use them anymore and was toilet trained after that. Started talking to dead people not long after that. It's easy to tell around Christmas or a birthday. My kid had a fourth grade teacher who let him work at his own pace in math. She managed to acquire books with more advanced material for him. He had taught himself calculus by the end of the school year. She was such an amazing teacher to give him the space to fly. I teach at university. So most of the people you are dealing with are fairly intelligent otherwise. 
What generally impresses me is the occasional student who has a high capacity for original thought. Most people are capable of getting a degree. It's not particularly difficult once you've learned the rules. What distinguishes a gifted scholar from anyone else is the capacity to think creativity in. Originally, it is the ability to look at a problem and think about various pathways of solving it. A willingness to try new things. And a high degree of openness to unknown things. Usually, you can tell a really able student when they preface a question with what if or similar terms is. It generally indicates that they are thinking of alternatives, hypotheticals, and trying to answer it. This is always a good sign and often shows positive engagement. By contrast, you can often tell a weaker student when they regularly ask questions such as what's the bare minimum, will this be on the test, etc. These are not bad questions as such, but it indicates that their priority is to get the mark grade and leave. If that is your priority, fair enough, I hope you do well. But it will restrict your capacity to think creativity and originally. My mill had my husband when she was 15. Sometimes during college she had to take him with her to class because she couldn't find a babysitter. My husband would raise his hand during class and ask relevant, thoughtful questions. By the time he was in third grade, around seven-ish years old, he was able to do statistics. His mom just got her second master's degree smiley face. And my husband is still annoyingly intelligent lol. Had a four-year-old kid who insisted that I read a children's solar system book to him over and over again. After the seventh or eighth time, he was mouthing the words along with me. He couldn't read, he had memorized the entire thing. Science teacher here, UK. The most gifted kids I've ever taught of those that in year 7, 11 twelfths of a year old. Never gave up. Always pushed on even when wrong and just kept trying. These are the kids that started average but walked away with. Once or twice. Getting 100% on a GCSE test. Part might be an inbuilt natural ability. But to me a truly gifted kid is the one that takes failure and turns it into a learning chance as they will always get further in life. I am not a teacher but a past fellow 15 yo student of mine. In metalwork, craft shop. For a project he produced a thing made of two car hubcaps. Looked like a UFO smiley face. Nothing was visible but he'd rigged whatever was inside so the two hubcaps spun in opposite directions. While staying together, it looked like a spinning top with a small shaft top and bottom. When it came to the presentation, he set it on a table and spun it using a drill. When the drill was removed it spun, and spun and we all waited and waited. When it was still spinning some 40 minutes later, with only the slightest of a wobble, we had also moved on to the next presentation. The teacher asked what his project was demonstrating. He replied, pretty quietly that he was working on a perpetual motion machine, but had not quite got it yet! Exclamation mark. The teacher called a meeting shortly after and he was gone from the school within a year. Allegedly signed up by some huge corporation who paid his full college years on a great salary on the condition he worked for them. Still going strong in research etc. from what I hear smiley face. For an exchange student from China in the 8th grade, his writing abilities far exceeded the majority of even the accelerated class. I moved him from regular English to accelerated and not only was his writing strong, his insights were so deep and thoughtful. At the end of the year, I learned not only was he a top student in my class, he won student of the year in Spanish as well. I knew a kindergarten student 5 to 6 Y.O. was gifted by her art. At that age, art is a very loose term. But this girl was drawing detailed drawings. Her people had hair and eyelashes and fingers and fingernails. The amount of detail she puts into her art is very advanced to someone of her age. When I did student teaching in band, did not become a teacher. We had this one seventh grader who was I think dyslexic. I don't remember. This was 2004. 
He was a percussionist. Well, it's not just drums. You put them wherever so they learn all the instruments. Now, I have damn good relative pitch. Go to conduct the band at a rehearsal and the timpani or as if I tune them myself. For the uninitiated, timpani, or kettle drums, are like the bass guitar of the orchestral percussion world. If you tune the strings instead of using frets, using foot pedals as you play, a few great rehearsals later, and my practicum teacher and I realized this kid has perfect pitch. We gave him all the harder parts. I really hope this kid kept playing. Developing relative pitch isn't easy. And having perfect pitch is nuts. I'm a special ed teacher and I teach kids who have emotional and behavior disabilities like oppositional defiance disorder or autism which manifests as anger. That kind of stuff. But anyway last year I had a kid who we think had a photographic memory and was a possible savant. He could see a map once and be able to draw it nearly perfectly hours or even days and months later. He had almost every detail to and all the towns and cities spelled correctly in major land. Features and even the major highways correctly labeled and named. He also was like a human calculator. You could ask him nearly any math equation and he could answer it in a few seconds in his head. Granted they couldn't be extreme equations but pretty much anything like PEMDAS wise he could do in his head quickly. His trouble was that he was very aggressive and we could never put him back in a gen ed classroom. Because he was such a danger to other kids and teachers if he became annoyed or upset. But he was a good kid and very intelligent he just had a lot of trouble with his emotions and behaviors.